So hello! This time we will create this 3D object in the Spline app. It's a pretty simple scene, but quite impressive. You can use it for your web or mobile app projects. So let's start. In the new file we can use this default rectangle. It's not so necessary, but after this lesson you can practice with any other 2D primitives from this list. Delete default light source, we don't need it. Let's prepare our rectangle. Select it, and in the object panel, in the shape section, let's do the following settings. First, let's make our object smaller. Set size here, 200 pair 200. Then we will change the corner radius, but not for all corners, so press this icon, and now we can change corner radius separately. In the input fields B and C, set 100. So we made the shape looks like letter D. But again, you can set your own values here and achieve your own shape if you want. Now let's make from our 2D rectangle 3D. Add extrusion. I think 10 would be enough. So now you can see that our rectangle has some depth. I also recommend adding a little bevel and bevel side. For example, 2 and 2 here, so the material will look more interesting later. Our object is done, and now let's apply Cloner. Cloner is an option that makes copies of the original object, but these copies feel more like uh, holograms, so we still see only one layer in the layer panel, which is our object. Set type radial, so all our copies will be located around the main object. Now let's select x-axis here and turn on alignment. Right now is a perfect moment to select perspective projection to see how it looks so far. Last few things to complete. Hide the original object, select hide base. And let's add more copies, I think 16 would be enough. And change the radius, the distance of the copies depend on center, which is our base object. I think 250 looks good. And we're done here. I like to rotate objects, so let's add this object to the group, select here, and select group selection. And now I will rotate this group like this. So we can see not only front copies, but copies from the back. Done. Now we just need add animation and apply materials. To make this loop rotating animation, select your object, not a group, add state, and for the second state, Rotate object by y-axis to 360, so put 360 into y-axis field, in the rotation section. So now our object has two states, first, where y-axis in rotation is 0, and the second with 360. To see animation, add event, leave start by default, select transition, and for this transition let's apply next settings. For time here set 20 and click on Easing and select Transition Liner. So our animation will loop with the same speed. And to make it rotate continuously, select Loop Infinite. Now we can play our scene and see how it rotates. Now let's work on material and other effects. Set background to black color. In the project panel, click here and choose completely black color. Select our rectangle and be sure that we have selected base state. In the material section, first for the default color, select it and apply black color and make it fully transparent. It's important, cause it will help us make a glass effect. Then add a matcap, press plus and switch new color layer to matcap. Here I recommend setting any matcap which can help imitate reflections. The best matcap from the default library is this. Click here and select Screen Blending Mode for this layer. And also make it a little bit transparent so we can see other copies through each other. And the last touch, move the lighting layer on top, set intensity to 50 and apply Overlay Blending Mode. Our scene is ready, but I want to apply a few more effects to make it look more realistic. It would be nice if only the copies on the front were in focus, but everything else far from the camera would be blurry. To do that, we will use new spline option, the depth of field. In the project panel, turn on effects, 
and where the DOF cell, click on I icon. Then press the setting icon and click on this target icon. Now click on the center of our scene here, so we show spline where we want to have focus. Let's make DOF a little bit smaller, but blur bigger. If the front copy is not in the focus, try to use target tool again. And we can also apply fog, so everything far from us would become darker. To do that, in the project panel find the fog section, turn it on and switch use background to yes. Now we need to set near and far point and this value should be like this, so near and far is where the transition between no fog and fog is happening. So now far copy is darker than front. And the very last thing, turn on ambient shadow. And for the tint select black color. This effect will create a shadow between copies. And that's it. Let me just pull down our object so I will group it again and now just move it down. The best you can do now is to play with matcaps. I can recommend you an amazing matcap pack by Cosmolab. There are a lot of nice and unique matcap images. The link you can find in the description. My favorite matcaps from this pack is the HDRI exterior collection. Only one matcap can change the whole picture of your work. This is it. Play with different shapes, color settings and matcaps and achieve your own unique work. And if you want to know Spline app better, understand the basic principles of good looking 3D and create scenes like this, I want to recommend you my Spline design course. Enroll now and get 30% discount on this course. Link in the description. Share your results in the comments. Good luck and see you.